Am I the only one who noticed? Or do you notice? Or do both of us not notice? That no one really dies from alcoholism. Have you ever noticed that? Because I have. I went to many funerals that people have died from a direct result of their drinking and it wasn't mentioned in the sermon or the talk or in the old bit or anything. It just wasn't mentioned. And you know, why does alcohol get a pass like that? I don't understand. Because here in Ottawa, Ottawa, Canada, when somebody dies from an opiate overdose, we say they died from a drug overdose. We know exactly what killed them. And what killed them was the drugs. Opiate's a huge problem. It's wiping out our young people like crazy. It's cheap, it's easy to get, and it's really, really dangerous. You know, it really is. And this fentanyl business is, is people should be put in jail for murder for selling that stuff. You want my opinion of it all. But when somebody dies from that, we all know what they died from. They died from the drug. But really what they're dying from is their heart slows down so much, it stops. Or their lungs stop breathing. You know, they don't get any more air. They sort of suffocate. They just sort of fall asleep, you know. But we don't say they died of a stopped heart or heart failure. We don't say that. No. We say the exact what they died from, drug overdose. And we don't say that about alcoholism. You get where I'm coming from, right? My Uncle Jack was a raving alcoholic. He died of a heart attack in the backseat of his car the way the story goes. Don't hang up on me, okay? Don't, don't, don't change. Don't scroll by. He died of a direct result from his drinking. And that's one of the biggest problems or one of the biggest ways of dying from alcoholism is a heart attack. It really attacks the heart. It really does, or cirrhosis of the liver, or all kinds of cancers. But my Uncle Jack died from that. And when they put him in the ground, not one person talked about it. But Uncle Jack was a raging alcoholic, and because of his drinking, he died of a heart attack. But really, he died from alcoholism. He really did. I had a close relative of mine, was a very young man, died of a punctured lung. And when he, when he died from a punctured lung, his body, should have had the energy or the capacity to recoup from it. But because of his alcoholism, like alcoholism to the max, his body wasn't able to work as it should and it wouldn't heal itself. But what it did is it started to shut down. All the major organs shut down because a direct result from alcoholism. He became forgetful because of liver disease, you know, you'd be talking to him and he wouldn't remember five minutes after what you talked about because of the enzymes in the liver going through the bloodstream can cause memory loss. Yeah, believe it or not, it can do that. But no one mentioned that. No one mentioned that he died from a direct result from his drinking. I know a guy in the East End, he fell down the stairs because he was drinking. He was an alcoholic, broke his neck, broke his neck, pool of blood in the, you know, in the bottom of the stairs. Go to his funeral. No, he didn't die from that. He fell down the stairs. He tripped and he fell. No one talks about it. Again, alcohol gets a pass. And that's one thing that always upsets me about drinkers, about big drinkers, family, friends, whoever it is. They never talk about it like that. And I think that's one of the biggest problems with alcohol, that we do not think of it as a direct result from, from drinking. I mean, a, de a direct res people's death from a direct result from their drinking. We don't talk about it. It's not advertised like that. It's not spoken about like that, only if there's a car accident or maybe there's some family violence, but it's not talked about as a direct result of death, like opiates get or fentanyl gets, you know, or, or anything, illegal medications, the OD'd doesn't get the same publicity you know and I'm not talking about publicity in a good way I'm just saying we need to identify that you die from alcoholism not that no one dies from alcoholism because they die from something else but it's crazy I don't know if you ever noticed that but I noticed it all the time you know in our liquor bottles beer bottles wine bottles we need to start putting warning signs on that this can cause health issues or better off, it can make you pretty stupid, fall downstairs and break your neck. It can do all those things. 
hundreds of people or thousands of people in the US and Canada die from a direct result from alcoholism yearly. They really do. We need to start talking about that and we need to start bringing it out and let alcohol get its, its, its punishment that it deserves. It's not, a, it's not a drug that is socially acceptable. Alcohol, it's killing people. It's hurting our families, productivity, people's health. It's doing all that. So let the public know, let everyone know that alcoholism killed Uncle Jack. Not a heart attack. Okay, my name is Terry G. You can take a second. Can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Remember, sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. Ciao for now.